Hi students, it has been a while since I have recommended a new app for you to use on your device, on your computer, or on your phone. So I am here again today to recommend a different app that you might find some benefit for. And the app that I want to recommend for you today is called Duolingo. Um, this is a very helpful app, especially for beginning English. It's possible that you have a family member, an auntie, an uncle, a sister, somebody who has zero background with learning English. And this app, Duolingo, is very helpful for those who are at the very beginning levels of English. You can use this app as a higher learner of English, a more intermediate or advanced, but you might find less benefit. However, even for intermediate and advanced students, you might find some new vocabulary through this app, Duolingo. This app is available in both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. So if you have the Android operating system, as I do on my phone, you are using the Google Play Store. If you have the Apple iOS operating system, you are using the Apple App Store. And I will show you this app in each of those stores. So on my phone, I will go into the Play Store. I will search for Duo Lingo, D U O L I N G O, Duo Lingo. I already have the app on my phone. Um, you will see here the, the option for install. Because I already have the app on my phone, my option says open. Um, so I will click here to open the app. You can make an account on this app. You don't have to. Um, this app also has a website. So if you don't enjoy using an app, you can go to duolingo.com using your laptop and you can follow the same um, experience that I'm going to show you here on my mobile device. So I do have an account but I'm not going to enter my account. I'm going to click get started because this is what you will do on your device. Um, and now here I can choose which language do I want to learn. This app was initially created. This app was first created for English speakers who want to learn a second language. However, they have added a lot of support for other languages. Um, if I scroll down, you can see all of these different languages that are available. Um, of course, for us, we are here because we want to learn English. So I'm going to click on, I want to learn English. And it's asking me, what language do I speak? They have native language support, home language support for a lot of our home languages. So I'm going to select French because the, the app is going to completely change into the French language, and at least French I can still understand. If I change my app to Arabic, I will have no idea what's happening. Um, I want to learn English. Okay, so I'm choosing a goal. Right now it's asking me to choose a goal. Do I want to practice 5 minutes each day, 10 minutes each day, 15 or 20? You can always change this. It doesn't really make any any big difference. Um, my two options here are asking, do you want, are you learning English for the first time? Or um, do you already know? So you can do a small test from your English. It will ask you a bunch of different questions and then it will choose a good level. Um, I'm going to go into English for the first time so that you can see what this app looks like from the very bottom. Again, I know that you're not learning um, I know that many of you are not speaking French, but you can see that this piece at the top, which is French, would be set into your home language of Spanish or Chinese or um, Portuguese or um, Arabic, depending on your knowledge. So I'm learning. Man. 
This is saying lequel est fille. This is girl. Girl. Now, if I click incorrectly, girl. Um, and it again is asking me different questions. How can we say f woman? Woman. Boy. A boy. Um, now it gives me an option to translate a boy. An English phrase into a French phrase. Again, you're not speaking French. I know. Remember, this would be in Arabic or Spanish or whichever you said. A girl. They also give us an option to listen. A girl. A girl. And choose the words down below. A girl. You can also click to hear it slowly. A girl. I am a girl. They also give you a chance to um, translate again. Um, and I don't, I did not see any of the, the speaking options, but there are also some speaking options. Remember that I chose, I chose to start at the very beginning. Um, if I back out of the lesson, um, it's going to lose my practice, but I want to show you what the, ah, advertisement. Um, I want to show you what the main screen of this app looks like. Um, so again, my app here is set into French language that I am learning English from French. Yours would be set to Arabic, Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, whatever the home language is. And you can see that um, we have each of these different lessons. Um, you need to continue the lesson at the top and finish before you can come to the lessons towards the bottom. Um, but there are hundreds of lessons as we are coming down. Um, each of these, each of these small units, each of these units includes a long variety of work. Um, I would recommend for most of my students that you start by doing the exam, that you already know some English, you want to click through and answer the questions um, to find your correct level. If you have somebody in your family who completely does not speak any English and you want to help this auntie, this cousin, this um, person in your family to start at the very beginning, get them set up on their computer or on their mobile device. Um, this app is available through Google on that Play Store. I showed you earlier here on my Play Store. This app is also available through the iOS App Store through the Apple App Store. You see the same image of that green owl. Um, this is also a website. And I will show you in just a second the website on the computer. Give me a minute to jump over to my computer video. Um, the website of Duolingo follows a very similar format um, where you can choose the site language for whatever is your home language. Um, there used to be an option to learn English using English, and for some reason I can't find that option anymore. Um, so if your home language is not listed here, then, then you might have a difficulty finding um, the language that you want to learn. So I want to learn, and I am choosing English. What is your home language? Um, and once you select a home language, it will be um, changing the website into your home language. So as soon as I click onto one of these home languages, it's going to um, give me a completely, for example, if I choose Arabic, it's going to give me a completely um, unrecognizable for me um, website. I know here it's asking me, why am I learning English? And I think something like this is maybe studies. And then it's asking me, I know that this is asking how many minutes. Um, so let's keep it at 10 minutes. And I assume that the green button is go forward, even though I don't speak Arabic at all. Um, do I want, I think this is connect to Facebook and Google. I'm going to, to skip. And then again, it's asking like, do you want to take a start from the beginning? 
do you want to take a test? Um, so again, if I choose start from the beginning, the same way in that um, French section, you saw it asking for man, woman, girl. Um, I'm seeing that here. Um, I need to change my language back to English so that I can, again, understand what I'm doing. So I highly recommend using Duolingo on your app, on your smart device, on your tablet, on the website, and definitely would recommend it for the learner who is completely new to learning English. And also, there is some benefit for us who are at the intermediate or the advanced level in reviewing those basics, um, supporting and pushing up your understanding of those basics. So let me know in the comments what you think about the Duolingo website. Have you used Duolingo before? Do you like it? Um, will you use it in the future? And then until next time, students, bye.